far as first start, just you know, what was it like getting ready for that game as far as nerves and how did you feel like you played? Uh, getting ready for the game, it was it was really fun, you know. We had a lot of passion during that week, you know. It was uh it was really fun because just knowing that you get to play against somebody other than yourself, so it was really fun. Um, I say that, you know, the nerves, it was I had some nerves, but going, once we started playing, playing with my guys, you know, I just feel like back on my train. How did you feel like you played? Uh, I played okay. I could do a lot better, though. Kirby said you texted him in the lead-up to the game, like you were dialed in or, or locked in, something like that. What what was it about your preparation that made you feel that way? Was it the entirety of fall camp or specifically last week? I say uh, it, it will go back to fall camp, you know, just starting out. Um, going into fall camp, you know, uh, trying to, I tried to flip the switch. And um, I say that, you know, all the way from fall camp to last week, uh, I say myself and the team as a whole, we really just dialed in and uh, bought into the plan that the coaches have. When you say flip the switch, kind of what does, what does that entail? Uh, so, like, you know, there's stages of, of the season. So, like, I mean, you have uh, the off season, then you have, you know, the spring and stuff like that. So flipping the switch from uh, summer workouts to now it's time to play some football. Obviously, that game went about as well as it could could have possibly gone. What? How much uh, was that a confidence builder? I guess just validating everything you've been working on, and what do you, where do you go from here? Um, I say from here we just got to keep finding ways to get better. We can't um, get complacent. I mean, it was really a confidence booster because you know we've been putting in a lot of hard work all off season, all summer. So to see it come to fruition, you know, it's, it's a good feeling. But we can't just sit on that. We got to keep getting better. Why the uh, penalties? Did you get an explanation from the official on why they threw the flags? Uh, no, sir. Uh, they were Oregon was going so fast that I didn't really have time to talk to the refs. I had to go to the next play. So no, sir. I didn't get an explanation. Did you get? Have you talked to the coaches? Have you talked to anybody on whether you think you deserved to get penalized? Uh, no, sir. You know, I kind of you know next play mentality. We all kind of forgot about it. We went to the next thing. You, I was just going to say you face these uh, receivers every day. Uh, what's your? How do you feel about Georgia's receiving core? Uh, what have you seen from them in, in in practice, and how has that translated what we've seen on the field so far? Uh, I believe we have an elite receiving core. You know, we go against these guys every day, and they give us the best ever every day. They make me better every day at practice. So I mean, and it translates on the field. You know, our guys out there making plays, and you know, it's just they're having fun. I mean. So I think that they're elite. You know, they give us their best. We give them. We give them our best. They give us their best every day. How does Lad McConkey make you better? Lad, I mean, he just challenges me every day. You know, every time I guard him, I know I'm gonna have a tough task. So you know, I gotta be on my toes. And uh, I say, Lad, you know, he makes me better just by the way he works. Kamari Kirby was was talking to us a while ago about um, uh, C.J. Smith and Donato Morissette and kind of how those guys had kind of come on since they've gotten healthy. Uh, yet go up against those guys at all? What have, what have you thought about? Them? Uh, I think they're both two really good players. You know, they have a lot of potential. You know, I mean, you know, they're two guys who really work hard, good, fast, physical players. So they're going to be really good. And you just talked about going against the receivers in practice. Like, it's easy to kind of gauge and, you know, measure yourselves against the guys against you, but it's hard to, with all the unknowns, until you face another opponent. So after the Oregon game, what have you learned about your team, especially the secondary with the young guys, especially? Uh, I say that um, our secondary, that we are. Uh, that we're really close knit and that we can really play together and that we have a lot of guys that can play in the secondary to show Saturday. Kamar, you played pretty much at the boundary spot the other day, didn't you? Uh, no, sir. I yeah, played mostly okay. the field. Okay. okay. What is it about that particular spot that kind of you think plays into your ability? Um, you know, it's just uh, that was really some a part of our game plan going into that game. So, you know, I think that, you know, me playing at the field, you know, I, I have more space to cover. So I think that's all it is. Is, is it always that way, or do you guys kind of flip flop by right? Do you sometimes go right, left, sometimes field boundary, or is it always field boundary? Yeah, you know, it all it just depends on you know what we're going into, what we're focusing on that week. Looking at Saturday, what is sort of set out to you about Sanford? What you guys going to be going up against? Uh, Sanford's a, a good team. You know, they're a good opponent. You know, they got a lot of good players outside and uh, a quarterback who can uh, who can really play ball. So mm, we got to come with our best game Saturday. Can I talk about how playing with Chad Chambliss and he plays in front of you? What's 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 it been like playing along him and getting to know him over the last couple of years? Chaz, uh, Chaz is a guy that makes you want to go go hard because I mean every day after practice, Chaz is always getting extra work. He's one of the last guys in the facility, so I say Chaz Chambliss has made me better because he's actually pushed me. You know, oh man, he's getting extra work. Maybe I should get some more extra work.
What kind of confidence does a game like Saturday do for you guys in the secondary? I mean, the fact you guys had two interceptions and, and the way you guys played, how can you guys build off of that going forward? Uh, it gives us confidence, but um, I would say that, you know, seeing all the good we did, we have to also check in with the things that we didn't do as well. So I say going forward, we need to focus on, you know, some of our weaknesses, some of the things that we didn't do as well, and really hone in on those so that we can be the secondary that we want to be towards the end of the season. What's going through your mind when Malachi Starks made the interception that he made there? I was like, <laughs> and then when I saw he caught it, I was I just I had to run down there and and then it was just pandemonium. It was crazy. That was an amazing play. What does that say about him as a freshman, a true freshman? I mean, in his very first game, we able to make a play like that. It just shows, you know, how good of a player he is. I mean, he works hard. He uh, listens in the meetings and he takes it from the meeting to the football field, and he has great talent. So you just beat the number 11 team in the nation. But what do you tell your guys, especially in the secondary and Malachi, making a big play? What do you tell them to stay locked in for this week and just prepare for the next uh, week? That the standard never changes. Like, the standard is the standard no matter who we play. So we just got to keep getting better because we hold ourselves to a high standard. So the pass is the pass. We got to keep moving forward. We got another team to uh, prepare for and uh, go out there and go against Saturday. What can you kind of say about the second and third team defense uh, keeping Oregon on the end zone late in the game? Uh, you know that just that's a testament. That's a testament to you know how uh, how we play as a unit. I mean, I would say that uh, it doesn't matter who who's out there. You know, uh, we say that uh, if you're out there, you're a starter. So those guys, whenever it was towards the fourth quarter, we don't like anyone in our end zone, and they held their own out there. Any other questions? Okay, thank you. Thanks, Thanks.